Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be giving my number one tip to crush undergrad. There's so much out there, there's so many different types of courses, but I'm gonna be giving you the tip that I used that helped me so much that once I learned how to do this and to truly apply it, I was able to get my 4.0s and just really, really do well in undergrad. So, there's a lot of different types of courses and this is what I used but I hope you can either tweak it or apply it in a similar way to help all of you. It's really good that you're watching this now because the main, main tip that I have and what really helped me was to really stay on top of all of my courses. I hope that right now it's uh, January 2nd. For all of you out there that are actually gonna be watching this, hopefully you watch it now and you really can stay on top of all your courses throughout because I found that it was so much easier to kind of think, oh, that's easy, I'll wait. Uh -huh. I don't have a test for another month. Especially in the beginning of my new semester, I have new classes that I wouldn't really focus too much and then I get behind a little bit and I'll be playing catch up the entire semester. So start now, start right now in your first class, making sure you're on top of all of them. What I did specifically is after every single class, I would then go home. So a lot of my classes, just to give you a little bit of understanding, because maybe some of your classes are like this, but you may again have to tweak it to fit some of your other classes. A lot of them were, they give you the, basically a PowerPoint ahead of time. I'd go to class, they would talk about what basically they have on their PowerPoints and they teach you. I would take notes, I'd actually use OneNote, a very, very, very important and powerful software. OneNote, or even if you use Evernote, or there's lots of other types of uh, notability and stuff, but as long as you have a place to put your PDFs in and you can annotate them during class, especially if they give you those ahead of time. Really, really key. So I'd go there, I'd do that, I'd go and I'd write all my little notes, and then I'd go home after, and I would rewrite handwritten notes of the most important parts. Either they're tricky, I didn't fully understand them, and I'd write them down on my other, so I have a whole separate notebook after every single class, and I'd take the notes and I'd write down the most important parts. I found that, okay, so I did this in my third year, and in my fourth year, I still did a similar technique, but I was smarter about it because I found that I, although I tried to get the most important parts, in my third year, I would write down basically the majority of the notes, and it wouldn't really be a benefit because I'm just recopying the notes from there. It would help me learn. I definitely would, it would lodge in my, in my brain, but there's more efficient ways to do it. So what I would recommend is, again, not going over everything, writing down everything again from your lecture notes onto your actual you know, notebook, but the most key important parts and the key important notes that you need to really, really remember. Maybe Maybe it's biochemistry, you're thinking about an actual protein, what that exact will, because they don't have, sometimes they have very random names, what that exact one does, I'd write that down. It's basically my overall study guide. And now, so I have those written down notes, and now I've basically taken all that information, now I've learned it. I don't really usually touch that now, I've, written, I've written it down, I don't need to do that. Maybe during the midterm now, I go back over it all, every time, I go through all my written notes. And you know, I go through actually the lecture notes, quickly skim through them, then I go through my lecture notes, like because like sometimes they have diagrams that you can't have in your actual notes. And then on my actual notes, what I would do before a test at every midterm is I'd go through my actual notes. So now I have my full lecture notes, I have my more condensed notes, and then I have my cheat sheet. The cheat sheet is key because now what I would do is I go through all my condensed notes and I would take key either proteins, enzymes, or if it's an anatomical uh, processes or physiological processes that were kind of more confusing that when I read it through my notes, I was like, I don't quite remember that. I'd write this on my cheat sheet. And this cheat sheet would be one to four max pages of just key things I need to quickly remember. And now that I've repaired, I'm, you know, I'm not just cramming before the night before, but now I'm, on my midterm, I'm going the few days before, going through all my notes, reading them, remembering. If there's a questions I can do, I'm doing those as well. And then right before the test, like the day of, even like, like the hour before, I just quickly go and skim and just remember all those key terms. Just help me memorize, because a lot of these courses in our undergrad, especially if you take a science background like I did, there's a lot of memorization. And I found that cheat sheet helps so much, because it just lasts a little second, even like five minutes, right? When I'm going in the test, you know, you're not learning anything. You're just, you're just re jogging your memory. So you have all these enzymes, like proteins, or you're doing like even these mathematical concepts. And that's a little more difficult. You got to drill that one. But if you're doing like personal finance, I took, which had some math in it. If I'm just remembering certain equations that I need to memorize, it would just help so much. It's the last trigger in my mind. I found that helped so much. And the key point is that you're not learning everything new the f like the first time really for your midterm or your exam. You now know it, you've gone over it, you make your condensed notes, you make your cheat sheet, and now you're not like teaching yourself all this information, you're just reviewing it. It takes, like that, there's a curve, like, you had to, like every time you learn, you drop off, you get a little better, you drop off. It's so important that you keep building that, building that, and you're not learning it for the first time right before your exam. 
but you're now you're just going over it all. You have your cheat sheet, and honestly, it helped so, so, so much. I was always on top of my stuff. Yeah, it's a commitment. It's hard work. It's not easy getting a 4.0, but it is possible. You gotta make sure you're not cramming, you're learning, you're taking your time, and you're staying on top of all your courses. Of course, I didn't do this for every course. Some courses were a lot different. I remember my anatomy in particular, I actually would take screenshots of the slides and I'd actually white out all the different like labels to all the different bones or whatever we were learning about. And then I'd print it out and I'd actually write it down so I see if I could actually remember it. So there's lots of little different tweaks and strategies you can use to kind of supplement that, but just staying on top, writing down those condensed notes, writing down those cheat sheets, it's so important. I really hope that can help you maybe supplement your learning and if you're maybe in a younger year, you don't really know, you gotta figure out how you have to learn best. Like learning is a learning process figure out how you can teach yourself how you can take that information and you can cement it in there so you're not just like binging but you're kind of binging you're not just basically learning it for the first time the day of but you're now it's part of you you know it it's in your brain it's locked in really really helpful for me I hope that helps all of you if you have a specific strategy that you would like to share with your peers comment below if you have a question about maybe a different type of course that I didn't cover again some of the more mathy ones I would just drill like that's really what helped me the most you just do a ton of practice questions um, but there's a different way to learn all these different programs but the key thing like if you're gonna take away one thing is just stay on top I know it's so easy to say but it's a lot harder to do and really figure out a study plan that works for you a study strategy and figure it out now before you get in your class so you can hit it in the ground running and you don't get behind you stay on top of it that was just a couple of little things that I wanted to share with you that really helped me I hope it can help you as well if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe I'm gonna be recording making a lot more videos and I'll be seeing you real soon